Well, it's interesting how Black Ops, aka CIA, DHS, spy on you, and you get something in the mail, like, you know, let's say you just have average life insurance that you pay for, right? And remember, these Swiss Templar cops know your brain thoughts. Okay. So I get my little life insurance thing in the mail and there's a comment at the bottom of it. You know. Talk about changing my uh, my status or something. And you evil pricks know what I'm talking about. So what I'm saying is, once you're implanted and you're microchipped, they can listen to your brain thoughts, they know what you're doing, okay? And then they do derogatory comments like through your mail, and they sit there and spy on you. Because the police are using plantier technologies. Right? Illegal surveillance of uh, just everyday people, right? Isn't that something? But are we really and truly everyday people or are we special? We must be special if the fucking reptilian lizards are watching us. The Anunnaki Ashkenazi Jews. Right? You and your overlord. So, it's interesting how I open my mail. And, yes, I think that in general some people just have general life insurance. And then at the very bottom it was just a, a comment. You know, so when, when I read that I knew that uh, they're like poking my hot buttons to let me know that they're listening in on me. This is the Department of Homeland Security, your military industrial complex, your CIA, M16, your Mossad, your Vatican Intel people. Yeah. Yeah. So for some reason I'm on a shit list and I think that happened when I was born. And it gets filtered up to the Department of Justice. And then it gets down over to the DHS, and it gets to the FBI fusion centers, and then down to your local special cops who sit there and use their um, special gadgets in their special cars and sit there and watch and wait. Just like a spider on a web, right? Octogon. Because I think I might be coming close to something about, you know, Bill Gates and how humans are now assigned an ASN number. You no longer need your social security number, I think. You're just assigned a, some fucking number on the 5G network that you don't even know anything about. Because we're all just dumb humans, right? How they have jump room technology, you know, let's see, voice to God, voice synthetic telepathy, right?
and how they like to glorify things like on Netflix, like children of the age of under the, at the age of eleven twerking and doing an adult things that they don't know anything about. You know, where's the parents? Oh, that's right. You sign a contract with Hollywood and you get a trillion dollars and then, you know, you can MK Ultra your kids. Right? Isn't that Hollywood? How the Masons um, try to, like, asset strip you. Oh, I'm sure my life is on a gambling table, all right, somewhere. I'm sure a Rothschild or a Rothfeller or some king of Biran or has my ISP number or my ASN number, right? That's unique to my DNA. Something like that, right? But you see, you know, I discovered that, you know, you can't be normal on this planet and do things that are normal without some fucking reptilian overlord coming around and fucking with your life. Sitting there spying on you like a spider on a web. Isn't that sick? That's disturbing. But that's your planet. That's what you all have, people. How you got gang stalkers with backpacks and cars loaded with Raytheon Stingray equipment ready to send you, uh, you know, beams of electric shot, shock to your body as you just want to just go down the fucking road. Isn't that something? You just want to walk down the road and you got some prick fucking beaming you with radiation and you can't even do anything because in the court of law they'll just look at you like well you're fucking crazy you need help right I can't wait for the moment when the tables turn and all this satanic fucking horse shit gets exposed how you guys go off world underworld do your orgies and shit. I can't wait. But you're all protected by this one unique little fucking lizard guide. You know, I tried the Jesus route and it just didn't work out for me. I tried and I tried. And it just turned into fucking mud. Just like your Masonic little order. Your red house and your white house. It turned to mud. Because there was nothing there that was solid. Because I know you guys. You like to sulk off and... I don't know. Do your, do your pedophilia stuff or something. I saw on the news today something about, I think, Bannon. He was on a yacht, right? Well, there's nothing that's going to happen to him because it's under admiralty law, people. And the Masons cover their own. So it's just a story. He was on a yacht. He hustled some money for the, you know, through the GoFundMe page, uh, the money towards some great wall that we're supposedly building, him and some Chinese guy, you know, and some Iraqi veteran dude, all in cahoots, shaking and a-baking with the money. That's nothing new. But you see, the thing of it is, is that in the story, it was on a yacht. And that's considered international waters, right? So, and that falls under what? 
admiralty law. So I'm kind of confused on how this is all going to pan out, right? Because there's law of the land and law of the water. See, I'm really confused. Man. That that right there, I'm ignorant on. I don't know that shit. See, where I come from, if you fuck up and you really do something wrong, you steal from people, you should just go straight to prison. It's on that Monopoly game, right? Go to directly to jail. So I don't know, you know? I don't know. He gets his day in court, too. Or does he? See, that's where I'm kind of confused. See, if you're, if you're on waters, international water, uh, does that mean you get a free card or something? I, I don't know. I don't know. I've heard about this shit. It's all Masonic and shit. See, that's a good thing. I don't know. I'm glad I don't know. How many minutes is this? 11, okay. So I don't know, I don't know, you know, and it's just like this Jeffrey Epstein case. The, the, the crime occurred on an island that's surrounded by water, so I don't know how that's going to pan out. Maybe this Maxwell person will get a free pass. I don't know. I don't believe in anything anymore. Just like Clinton, she was at a Sky Harbor, right, on the international tarmac. And she did some wheeling and a dealing and nothing happened, right? So I don't understand that shit. So, you know, you wonder why I won't vote. Well, it's shit like this. Why? What am I voting for? For some masons to run our country and, you know, run everything to the ground so they can have their satanic orgies.